FC25 is right around the corner, so courtesy of EZSBC, which is a website that has all of the FC25 database, I'll throw a link to it in the description, this video is not sponsored, I'm just doing it because they have the FC25 database, it's all through AI so it makes my job a lot easier, but we're going to have a look at some week 1 starting teams that you can work towards in FC25, even day 1 depending on your budget slash your pack luck if you're putting money on the game, if you have the ultimate edition and get the 4000 uh, FIFA points, so with all of those factors there'll be lots of different budgets, lots of different players to look at in this video, let's get into it. And off the net we've got Robert Sanchez of Chelsea, he's six foot six and brilliant for links being Spain and Premier League. Left back is Robinson, Joe Gomez and Tadebo as the centre backs, don't think they'll be too expensive whatsoever. At right back it is a bright Asayi Samuel, hopefully I didn't butcher that name too much. The beauty about this website as well is it gives you uh, chem style recommendations, so with a catalyst chemistry style on he gets a nice passing boost and this card isn't a great card by any means, he's a card that you'll be only using for the first couple days, he's got pace, his defending isn't great, he's got solid respectable dribbling especially agility but he's more so to link in my right winger who i'll show you guys shortly um or you can see him right there of course the midfield free the free center mids oxlade chamberlain matthias nunez jensen fernandez i can't see them being too much whatsoever all three of them combined oxlade, oxlade chamberlain looks like a pretty nice well-rounded card I mean, defending a little bit on the lower side, but he's be, he'll be minimum price, right? He'll be a thousand coins, four star, four star, which is cool. Jetson Fernandez is very similar to Oxlade Chamberlain, but I'd say he's just better than Oxlade Chamberlain. He's the better version. I suppose Oxlade Chamberlain does have an extra star for the uh, for the weak foot. Pedro Neto on the left will be basically nothing. This card will be very cheap. But what really, really, really caught my attention with this card is 90 agility and 90 balance as a base. Now, it is recommending a Hunter Kim style, which puts him to 96 pace and 80 shooting. And hey, suddenly it's looking a really nice card. With him being a gold common, he can also play as a right wing. I think this card, right, he might be a little bit more expensive than 1, 2k, but I can't be, see him being too much whatsoever. And I think for the sake of a starting team, 4 star, 4 star, amazing alt positions, amazing, amazing positions, amazing dribbling, great links with obviously Chelsea, Portugal, Premier League, I think this is going to be a brilliant, it's going to be a fantastic, fantastic card to start FC25. It'll give you lots of versatility with your squad building as well. And as I said, I can't see him being too expensive. Cal Felix up top, one of the cards that isn't, uh, isn't insane if you're going off the stats, but he's got the five-star skills and five-star skills during the early game, especially, you know, the first few days of playing, five-star skills is going to be very, very nice. And the reason we have this right back, Osayi Samuel, is to link in uh, Boris Alapa Yilmaz who looks very nice, 4 star skills, you can actually play as a left back as well, kind of like Neto, another card like Neto, that can play anywhere, he is 6 foot 1, and with a finisher chem style, goes to 92 agility and 88 balance, along with a 6 foot 1, it's a taller, kind of differential type of winger, and I really like the look of him, especially as an inside forward, um, but hey, this is the first kind of team preset that we're looking at, I don't see this team being any more than 40,000 to 50,000 coins. This team is a completely different vibe compared to the last one. We got a Serie League on combo, it looks like here. Yeah. In fact, yeah, it's a Serie A League on hybrid. Um, Idni is Chevalier, but I'm sure there's other French uh, League on goalkeeper options that you can go for. Kalulu and Pacho is the centre backs, two solid, respectable centre backs. You've got 78 pace and 79 pace for both of them, so relatively fast to start the game. Uh, defending physical, you know pretty solid nothing crazy but these are center backs but as i said remember these are teams that these are week one teams right starting teams we're not going to build a meta two three hundred thousand coin starting team for some of you guys a two hundred thousand coin team might be your starter team but for the majority of the player base you're probably working with 20 to 30 40 000 coins within the first week right spinazola at left back i'm going to say this word a lot can't imagine he'll be too much some of these players i might heavily miss on and i say they might only be 2 or 3k they might be 10k they might be 15k right and in that case then there'll be other alternatives for them and i'm sure there'll be plenty of other you know say if pedro nito is more expensive than we we expect i think he's great for squad building but being a gold common 
I don't know, I'll revisit this at the start of the game, but I don't see him being more than 5k. Um, but if he is, then there'll be other left-wing Premier League options that you can replace him with. At right back, we have gone for Claus, who might be one of the most expensive players in this team, but a very good right back and probably going to be second best league on right back behind uh, Hakimi, unless I am missing somebody obvious. The midfield three, we've got Zhao Neves here, who shouldn't be too much. Can't imagine he'll be too much. Uh, Zhao Neves doesn't look bad. Chuck a shadow chem style on him, but as a starting team, chem styles don't matter too much. If you want to just keep a basic on him, he'll still get the job done, right? It's because shadows might be a little bit pricey. Zakaria as the holding midfielder slash defensive midfielder. Now, Zia Emery might be a little bit on the pricier side like a Klaus, so of course you can replace him, and there's many players that you can replace him with. Um, you can have a Musa. There we go. It's just basically done it for me. Musa could replace Zia Emery if Zia Emery is too expensive. Musa also on full chemistry. Doesn't look bad whatsoever as a box-to-box -box midfielder or a more playmaker type of midfielder. Then you can go ham. Of course, if it's not obvious, we are using the 4-3-3 formation as a base. I think the 4-3-3 formation is perfect because it's got the wingers and many formations. You can obviously change in-game. Many formations have wide players, whether that be a 4-2-3-1 with a right and left cam. Same thing with a 4-2-2. They are getting rid of a 4-3-2-1 formation this year with a right and left center forward. But I think a 4-3-3 base formation for a starter team is perfect use those wingers and of course you can change formation in game i'll probably be rocking a 4-2-3-1 so keep an eye out for my starting 4-2-3-1 custom tactics which we'll work on left wing is david neres now that he is at napoli instead of benfica i believe he got a move from he might be on the pricier side because he's got great dribbling five star skills so if he is on the pricier side a good alternative than david neres saint maximin is recommended but i think uh saint maximin will also be just as expensive right we have got Bradley Barcola, scored a goal within 13 seconds for France today, uh, but as a gold common card, he's got 86 agility, the balance isn't great, but he is 6 foot 1, so he's fast, agile, 6 foot 1, he's got a tall and lean body type, as a winger, I like it a lot, and he won't be too much whatsoever. Okafor up top looks very nice with a finisher chem style, going from 77 shooting to 83 shooting, but his dribbling stats is what really seals the deal with this card. Along with that, the four star, four star, and look at those alt positions. He can play on the left, he can play as a cam. If you really wanted to, right, and if you were going to say copy this team, you can go for an Ocker four on the left hand side and then look at another cheap striker up top. Um, Wahi, there we go. You can go for someone like a Wahi of Marseille. Probably a card that won't be incredible incredible but at the start of the game man I, I think the beauty of the start of the game is as long as i've got like at least 70 pace respectable shooting you're going to get some use out of them you are going to get some use out of them and can't see why he being more than a thousand coins same with okafor can't see him being more than a couple k politano who's our right wing can't see him being expensive this front three will probably cost a combined five thousand coins a brilliant alternative to politano in fact probably a card that i'd rather than politano is it samuel chuck Wiese. he may only have a two star weak foot so he's very predictable with his left foot but great dribbling stats i think he's faster than uh than politano in fact he's got eight more pace than politano and his shooting is maybe not insane but it's going to be a player that you'll be abusing that pace and uh that, that dribbling with right he's not a player you'll be wanting to shoot too much with he's more of a kind of set it up left stick dribble left stick dribble sorry type of player but this is the second team a few different players a few different leagues i should say and uh, a few different player alternatives that i have given you let's build another team the third concept squad that we are using is a bundesliga liga portugal and premier league mix We've gone for New Bell in goal of Stuttgart with Ito, the new Bayern Munich signing as a center back. I like him a lot. He's a left footer, so you'll want to play him on the left. He is six foot two inches tall, respectable agility and balance of 67 and 70. That's respectable for a center back. So he can be a little bit of an agile type of center back and great reactions of 83 there as well. Thiago Giallo is the other center back option, but you have got plenty of options for this formation and for this high league hybrid, the starting team to work. You have got Antonio Silva, you have got Totti of Wolves, Gonzalo Inacio was the original one they put in, but I removed him because he's also left-footed like Ito. You preferably want a right-footed and a left-footed centre-back, so we did go for Thiago Giallo. 
On a left, we have gone for Nuno Santos, who's originally a left mid, but can play as a left back, no problem. Not to mention the five star skills with Nuno Santos, you'll be wanting to use him in a more advanced role. Right back is Bowie of Bayern Munich, who has got. I mean, 84 stamina is nice. He's got a strength of 76. You might not be able to see that. It might just be cut off, but he's got 76 strength. Dribbling is nice. Pace is very solid of 82 with a shadow going to 90. A card that's not necessary to use a shadow on, and I think all these cards aren't necessary to buy shadows and hunters. If you have it in the club, go for it. I think Bowie is probably the player in this team that will last you the longest. You could probably get away with using this Bowie card for a week or two. And he may very well be expensive because of French buy-in. He may even be pushing 10,000 coins. I hope not. But if he is, then there is another alternative. And his name is Baku right here. Can't see him being 10% of the price that Bowie is. And also a card that is respectable of playing that right back role. Matthias Nunez making another appearance in the midfield. Namicha is a new card that we are looking at. Great well-rounded stats. His lowest stat disregarding shooting is 75 or 71 passing. He's also got 75 defending. One more shooting and he's 70 plus in every stat. So he's one of those cards as a playmaker. Hey, not bad. You can advance with him a little bit. Four-star skills, um, but he can also play as a CDM if you want to play him more defensively. He is six foot four as well. So keep that in mind. You may actually be even better off playing him as the holding midfielder and having Matthias Nunez as your more box-to-box. -box. In fact, uh, Namich's rating has gone up as a playmaker. If, if we have a look, you can like look at different roles, right? As a playmaker, he's only 73.7 meta rating. This is all through easy SPC, of course. Um, but as a holding midfielder, yeah, he spikes up all the way. So I'm not sure why they put him in the uh, playmaker role, but at least I'm happy that kind of backed up my point and I wasn't spewing nonsense because he is, in fact, a lot better as a CDM. Being six foot four, he goes to almost 83 meter rating. And uh, I can't imagine him, I'm saying that line again, I can't imagine him being too expensive. Matthias Nunes will get the job done. Now, this card here is going to be an ultra budget one. He'll be under 1,000 coins, but he's got that five star weak foot, which is very nice. And I mean, you'd probably go i mean you don't even have to go for a shadow in fact i'd even probably disagree with easy sbc i'm disagreeing with an ai if you want a controlled explosive i, I guess maybe that's why i'd rather keep him, him controlled because injured makes him controlled explosive but i like the looks of an engine more than a shadow with him so uh maybe agreeing or disagreeing with an ai as a first but five star skills he could be a nice option there's plenty of other players that you can put in his place if he's even a little bit too below your budget renato sanchez he's always going to have that renato sanchez hype about him but renato sanchez is an easy replacement and if he is a respectable price then you may want to pick up renato sanchez instead of the prior card i can't remember what his name was the japanese sporting player Cannot remember his name. It was Murita. There we go. It was Murita. Of course, you've got Jetson Fernandez as an option um, as well if you want to replace. But we will rock Renato Sanchez. I like Renato Sanchez a lot more than Murita. On the left, Pedro Nito obviously making another appearance. Going to be in lots of hybrids, which might, might bring his price up a little bit. Uh, on the right is Bruma. All-star skills with a three-star weak foot. Great old positions. 90 agility, 88 balance without a chem style on it. So his left stick dribbling is going to be very nice. Composure of 68 is not ideal. Um, he is a right footer as well. So he's one of those ones that's going to be get down the byline, left stick dribble. Hope it's not another year of byline. I realize just what I said. I hope it's not another year of byline cutbacks. But in general, he's going to be a more so sideline winger and a cutting in winger is what i'm trying to say if he's tell 86 pace 80 shooting hey he doesn't look bad i'll go for a hunter chemistry style i'll use him more as an inside forward rather than a poacher but you can use him as a poacher if you want as well um yeah i mean six foot four star four star very nice with the buy-in french bundesliga hype if he is on the more expensive side a cheaper alternative uh could be a beer of dortmund who is a card that i looked at before this video but he's not featured in this video I think this is a not as good as Tal because Tal's four star, four star. Beer is only four star, three star, but a cheaper alternative to Tal. Now, the beauty of easy SBC as well is you can change the roles. Um, so, of course, I'd have Namicha as the holding midfielder. I'd probably have like two box to box midfielders, right? I'd have a box to box of him. And of course, that puts his meter rating up. Don't pay too much attention to it. I've not been. Uh, messing around with it too much i'd have obviously him as a wing back and i'll change baku as could also use baku as a wing back but i'd rather him as a fullback and it's nice to see the easy spc is agreeing with me because the 
meta rating is going up, right? Um, but yeah, this is what I'd be going with. Inside forward, I'd rather use as an out and out winger. And as for Pedro Neto, I'd probably rather use him. Four star, four star, he's a left footer. So I'd, I'd also rather probably just use him as a base winger, right? And yeah, they also agree with me. So don't pay too much attention to the uh, player roles, but of course you can fiddle around with them. I do think it is very important to have at least one holding midfielder in a free midfielder formation. You could have a holding midfielder, a playmaker, a box to box, or you could have a holding and two box to boxes. Doesn't matter. I just think you need at least one holding midfielder better known as a defensive midfielder but ladies and gentlemen hopefully a few of these teams piqued your interest i think all of these teams should be 50,000 coins or under so it's something to work towards within the first week there's some great players i think my star player today is pedro neto just because of all of the options you have with him with league hybrids um with his 90 agility 90 balance pace with that being said hopefully you guys did enjoy if you want to see more of this um or maybe league specific right so if you want to see just a league of portugal starting team just a premier league starting team bundesliga we could make lots of videos of it just look at cheap premier league because there's so much more cheap meta players to look at so if you want to see as i said premier league la liga different league teams then of course go for it let me know down below and we can uh, work towards that before fc25 comes out to give you guys plenty of ideas for the new game it's been your boy davis i'm excited for this year's fc25 content and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>